all this work is uh, the main, it's a metaphor, of course, and it's a metaphor of exhaustion, you know, and this exhaustion is uh, something has to do with the, our, unfortunately, with the exhaustion of humanity, generally in, in the world, you know, but also mostly in the democratic society. Fountain is always a, a certain symbol of power. And, you know, fountain, uh, I even uh, had many times I was asked, why exhaustion? Why fountain? Because fountain is normally when the water is going up. It's, it's a symbol of power. It's a symbol of, of let's say, um, great empire always. You know, you know, France, you know, Russia, you know, they all had these big gardens with the fountains. And in this way, you know, the water is going down, plus it divides every time into two. So uh, the second line, it divides into six. And the third line, it divides already into eight. And this way, we got, we, we, we're coming up from the streams of water, we're going up to the drops of water. And this structure here is only from 12 levels. You know, it can be as much levels as you want. You know. Practically, uh, in the theory, you know, uh, from the, um, the technical point of view, it's possible to do it as big so that at the end there will be no water. It will evaporate during this long journey from one funnel to another. Well, you know, I think that art much more a diagnosis than a medicine. So in this case, uh, as a diagnosis, it can work. Better, the earlier, the better. If you take separately art, music, literature, it's only instruments of culture. Without culture, there is no society without culture, because culture is not about making pictures, writing books, or making music. Culture is about how we all live together. The thing is that the piece that we made uh, is in Kiev. It was finished and we had to leave it in Kiev because all these metal things was done in Kiev. And uh, the war started. Like week before the war, we just already made the last, uh, the last try, you know, we, we have seen how it works, we have seen how it's like the last proof. And we were satisfied and it was uh, the 12th and 13th of um, uh, March we already had an agreement with the Kunsttrans, which is, uh, was supposed to transport this, this piece here. And the war started and it was already absolutely impossible at that time to find the lorry, to find everything and to find the same Kunsttrans. So Maria took the funnels, this bronze part, let's say the heart of the project. And we decided that at least we have the funnels and we can make this uh, kind of a metaphor without water, but we can leave at least the south with the idea. I would like to express my gratefulness to the Biennale and to Technolenia because in both, in both places, you know, people were very generous, very supportive, very helpful. I always, when I speak to the students during the master classes, I explain the artist is not the one who can draw or who can make a sculpture, or who can make an installation or who can make a presentation or whatever. Artist is the first, first and most, artist is the person who feels much in front of himself, much in front of the society, even sometimes without being able to explain what he feels. But these feelings then certainly come into certain pictures, certain music, certain literature, certain different things, you know, and performances, whatever, you know. And these feelings may show what can happen in the future somehow, sometimes. In Pavilion of Ukraine, in this year, we are showing the, an artwork of Pavlo Makov, uh, an artist from the city of Kharkiv. And uh, it's an artwork uh, uh, which was uh, imagined and uh, which idea was uh, made in different mediums like an um, engraving or drawing. Uh, or art books, uh, and it's, uh, it was an idea of uh, Fountain of Exhaustion. It's a name of an artwork. Two years ago, when we decided to propose this artwork to uh, La Biennale, uh, it was um, a new feeling that uh, after 27 years, uh, uh, Pavlo Makov's work uh, now showing us uh, the different uh, uh, topics and different challenges of today's world, uh, such challenges as uh, uh, ecological exhaustion, like exhaustion of resources, ex exhaustion of economics, politics and culture. And this topic now is not so local as it was in the 90s, but it's a g global question to um, each and every person in today's world.